What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video and daily update on Pepe. Uh, we'll do a full technical overview on it. I mean, we had quite a lot of bearish momentum in the entire market, but Pepe was actually, it's actually been holding up fairly well. I mean, it has still dropped down quite a bit, but if you, if you compare it with the price that we had after Binance was sued, so that initial crash we had at the beginning of the week, actually held on very well and if you if you watch these daily updates then you know that there was one level i was eyeing to buy from and that was this level did i buy from it no i never put uh, like the price was up here when i went to when i went to bed so i never put a, a limit order that far away i just have my alerts set up and then when it gets close i i think about it and i reevaluate. that's that's how i trade but um in the end would have been an amazing trade if you took it congratulations um, it, it's not that I gave a signal about it. I mean, I do have my own signal group, as most of you know. Uh, if you want to join that, check out the links down, down in the description. There we had, did have some good trades as well. We had this one, for example, that went um, well very well. But um, but no, Pepe, the thing was is that, that this, is a, this is a strong support level. It's also the most important support level at this point of time because it's one of our last strong ones. Uh, if you take a look at the chart right now, this level was really the level we broke when we, we when we became bullish right so we broke above that then we got some bearish momentum and then we got that listing on on binance and then we went all the way up here i think i think that that happened or we actually no i don't think that's actually true but we did break above this level initially and that's when we really started to be very bullish it's just an uh, it's just a very strong technical level so it's it's quite logical that we found support here but now the big question is, is can we hold that? Uh, so as most of you know, Pepe tends to be quite bullish heading into the weekend. That was uh, true yesterday morning. I mean, yesterday morning in, in the update, what I said is that I we updated the one hour time frame. What I said is that we would probably like break above this small level right here and, and get a move like this, right? That's what I said and get up to this level. You can just look that up. But most of you know if you watch my videos. But then the bearish momentum in the, in the market really started around this time as well. And then we just got this massive crash about five, six hours ago. So right now the it's, it's, it's weekend. <clears throat> so that's usually pretty quiet, which at this point in time, I, I would say is a, is, is a bullish thing for Pepe. We need some stability. I think for now, we can actually hold this level right here at around 8,500 and 9,000. All right, so we might drop down there, but I think we will hold it at least until Monday and then... I'm sorry to say this, but it just depends a lot on what Bitcoin does. Next week is a huge week for Bitcoin. We have the interest rate decision. We have the inflation rate. If Bitcoin kind of from, from Sunday to Monday, which is usually when the volume and the volatility kicks back in, if Bitcoin at that point of time is bearish, I'm sorry, but I think Pepe is going to have another bearish breakout and drop down to this level right here between 6,500 and 6,000, which is quite a significant drop again. Uh, from like 8500 it's if i can check that out it's about a 27 percent drop again so it will probably not be a big crash but then we we are continuing the the market structure which we are in right now which is just very bearish we've, we've just been we've practically been moving down ever since the 5th of may so um we'll just continue that if bitcoin becomes bearish if Bitcoin can actually hold its level and we can become bullish then we will hold this level and we might even be able to get some sort of a rally but that's at this point of time, just after like one candle after a crash like this, it's hard to estimate something like that. So that's why I'll, I'll be back with more updates. But um, yeah, for now, this is my take on Pepe. So if you have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.